This is a quick review of the web checkout system that we use for post-production booking and also for music and audio studio booking. Uh, first, you find your browser. I'm use Firefox in this case. Um, you should have no issue with either browser, but it's always good to have two uh, different kinds of browsers in case there's an issue and also try to stay up to date. So here we're going to open Firefox in this case. I'm going to go to my web page, which is brooklyn.webcheckout.net, and it's going to look like this, brooklyn.webcheckout.net, okay, you hit enter, and you may see this page, it says your connection is not secure. This means that I have to give this website access or, or approval to be open on my browser. So if you see this, pan, do not need to panic. Just hit advanced, and I'm going to add the exception. I'm going to allow this website to be open <laughs> like this, and confirm security exception. D it does this in Firefox. You may not have the same experience in other browsers. I'm just telling you that this is something that may occur. And then now we have the login page and see this is the actual login page which is the web checkout patron portal use your login information remember it's case sensitive and you now come to this you have these different options uh, you may have less uh, it depends on what class you're in and what access you have in this case we're going to do a post-production booking here you'll see your current checkout, which is the checkout I currently have with the checkout number. And if I click on that, I just see it. I can't do an adjustment to this specific checkout. This means I'm using it. Remember, this is you using your time. You can't um, cancel in the middle of a session. The other future reservations here, however, uh, will show you uh, the ones that I've booked. So you could potentially say, on this date, I want to make an edit to this reservation. Remember, if it's available, you can do that. However, someone booked that before or after you, you cannot do that. You can cancel a reservation, which is recommended if you uh, do not need it and you're not currently in the reserved time. That means you haven't started this uh, room booking. But in this case, we want to make a new reservation, which you do here on the plus sign in the corner, in the right corner. Or you can do it here. Uh, the same thing on this little menu bar you make a new reservation okay and here I will see my resources you're probably gonna see editing room one to three in the least um, so let's see if we can book a room here I now see my availability edit one two or three and the date so first you are going to select the time here be careful that it defaults to basically a 24-hour block here I want to book from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Like this, you check it. I go to the plus sign in this case, and I hit Add. If you have no errors, then you are good to go. You can confirm this reservation. However, if I were to say I'm going to book Edit Room 2 for the same amount of time, that you see it's already reserved for someone, and I click plus here, I get a hand. So here's the hand that tells me resource unavailable. On occasion, it may be that the resource on, uh, is unavailable, however not indicated on this slot. Uh, that could be a quirk, then you have to just make sure that you put in another slot. And to rectify this, I just have to go and say, I do not need edit room uh, two. I clear that and now I can confirm this reservation. So I hit confirm. The reservation has been confirmed. It now appears over here today, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. And that's my reservation. So I'm not going to use this reservation right now. However, if I go back to look at the reservation, edit room one through three, I see this green now reserved from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. It's reserved for me or for you. 
So now I'm going to go and say I don't need this reservation. If you want to do that, you're going to cancel the reservation right here. Are you sure you want to cancel the reservation? Yes. Then I go in here and it's now removed from the list, right? So that's the easy way to do a edit edit room reservation or a post production edit room reservation. Same kind of process. Okay, I'm going to log out of the post production checkout center and now do a recording studio. If I want to do that, I go to music and sound checkout center. I'm going to hit plus and I'm going to select the studio I want to book. So let's say we're going to do recording studio. We are now going to try to reserve the recording studio from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday. It seems to be open. Actually, let me just remove the one I had previously there. So 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday. I'm going to hit plus and confirm. Okay, and I see my reservation here. It is in a pending approval phase still, so it means I'm waiting for it to be approved first, and then um, once it's been approved, then we go from there. Okay.